A typical day for me starts around 7 a.m. The first thing I'll do in the morning is to see if I have any therapeutic drug monitoring levels to follow up with. This could be with vancomycin or aminoglycosides. The next thing I'll do is print out the patient care census for the critical care unit. Then, the main portion of my morning is consumed with reviewing patient medication profiles and just reviewing all the patients that are on the census for the day. So while I'm doing this, I'm also responsible for entering orders from the intensive care unit itself as well as another medical floor. So after I'm done looking up patients, and this can take anywhere from two to two and a half hours depending upon the size of the patient census, you know, we then round with the medical team. So the pharmacist is the medication expert on the interdisciplinary team. So what's expected of me is to make sure that every medication order that is prescribed for a patient is safe, efficacious, and optimized in order to help the patient the best way possible. So other activities I'm responsible throughout the day besides looking up patients and rounding with the interdisciplinary team are, of course, like I said, medication or order verification, completing pharmacy consults, and that could be with vancomycin, aminoglycosides, nutrition consults, completing TPN, total parental nutrition orders, as well as anticoagulation, drug monitoring, and dosing. Some non-patient care activities I'm involved with are, of course, teaching. So precepting APPE pharmacy students as well as precepting PGY-1 pharmacy residents. Other activities are attending critical care committee meetings as well as pharmacy and therapeutics committee meetings. And then another big portion of what I assist with and what all critical care pharmacists should do are get involved with creating and reviewing any type of policies or protocols for the critical care units. My advice for someone who wanted to get into critical care pharmacy and become a critical care pharmacist is to pursue residency training. So after graduating from an accredited doctor of pharmacy program, I would recommend pursuing a PGY-1 general residency. After that, I would recommend pursuing a PGY-2 specialized residency in critical care. And then upon completion of your PGY-2 critical care residency, you are eligible to sit for a board certification exam in critical care. So that is the BCCCP exam, and that is something also I would recommend. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you thought this video was helpful, please like it and share it. And of course, RxDuo aims to come out with a video at least every one to two weeks, so stay tuned.